Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now, last episode, we ended our war with Klemkin and Savoy. Uh, we did lose a lot of a lot of men fighting an equal war. We had similar troops, amounts of troops, similar tech level, uh, but we did manage to peace out of Savoy. They're paying us war reparations, and they gave us a bunch of gold. Not a big deal. You can actually see we got around a thousand gold, 860, or probably more like 760, from the two countries gobbled up their entire coastline, making them completely landlocked now. Uh, and what that gave me was a border with Morocco, so I can easily attack them, which will give me a border with France, which will get real interesting real fast. All right, where were we? Moving troops back to our land. Now, I'm going to definitely have to worry about rebels. Uh, I don't think that's going to be too bad of a problem, though. So let's move you over here. No. Ah. Uh. Gonna make me do this freaking manually, isn't it? Yes, it most certainly will. I don't have fleet basing rights here, and these are armies in exile, so it's gonna make me march them all the way around. All right, well, I'm not at war with anybody right now, so we're gonna do that. Uh, the transports are gonna hang out. Right over here. And right over here for now. Guess we're just gonna have to march all the- Ugh, military leader has died. Man, those guys are dropping like flies. Get these corns going. Need to get things cored as soon as I possibly can. Because right now the overextension is 97%. It's extraordinarily high. Uh, so that means these are going to start... Well, I did go through and increase the autonomy in a lot of the worst... The, you know, the most rebellious regions. Just to get rid of them. Man, Ethiopia got really screwed over now, didn't they? More pirates. Let's see, let's just make sure that they're down. You know, they've got 0% of the trade. Trade power. Who is this? Oh, that's my guys. That's 0%. So no, we're good there. 15. Oh, you know why? All of our armies are reinforcing. It's like, why the hell is that so low? It's our armies are damaged. Well, no, now they're go now they're okay. We could probably increase the size again. Next target of choice is going to be Morocco. They really don't like us. I like how the aggressive expansion kind of doesn't even make any difference at this point. I'm so powerful, it doesn't matter that I aggressively expanded. No one can do anything. Naples, military access, we're going to cancel that. We don't need it now. Naples would accept an alliance with us? Interesting. Let's take that. So we are too far. We have too many of these. So we can get rid of something. What's. You know what? Uh, that's over here, I think. What would this do? Of course, end of current level we have with the country. Firstly, affect relations. Don't care. Alright, let's get rid of that. Good. Coring's the third done. I was a little disappointed with the Suez Canal. I expected more to come from it. I thought more cool things would happen. Uh, move over here, please. I really, really did think more cool things were going to happen. Where is... No, not Australia. Alexandria is what I'm looking for. Let's put you in there. There we go. Put him in there. He'll join up with the other, uh, the other force that's over in that region, I believe. Convert some heretics. Although now we have way more heretics to deal with. We're just gonna... Our, uh, well, our religious unity went up to 90%? Huh. I'm a little surprised by that. Alexandria Shia, apparently. These are all gonna take a long time because they're highly developed. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going with the the cheapest things and work my way down. And we're gonna keep adding these on as soon as we can. So, like I said, we need to get that overextension. It's way too high right now, but uh, we'll, we knew that was going to happen. I'm not concerned with it. Why is it only at sixteen seventeen? Where's all my money going? It was like a hundred before. Corruption. 
That's where it went. Corruption. Uh, we could actually take the army maintenance slider down too, though. That's fine. The corruption is super high right now because of the overextension. I forget that overextension all the time. I forget that overextension affects it. Three frigates are protecting trade. No Tunis. These are three deckers. Gonna come over here. Join up with my other three deckers to be my Mediterranean fleet. We can actually bring more of these guys over if we really want to. Uh, Tunisian separatists look like they're going to hit, but we might be able to f uh, fix that. Oh, what's the next thing? Land force limit modifier. I like that. 216. Yeah, we got some wiggle room now. So, let's see. Where's that one? I'm looking. I'm looking. It's right here. Well, no, what we could do. Um, let's bring up uh, autonomy, and that'll show me where the problematic ones are. So, like, we move you here, and you here, or here. That like spread them out a little bit. Pardon the squeaking. That's Penny. You guys know Penny. Disloyal states. Want control of more. Eh. Alright, that's not a big deal. The clergy want control of more. So we're going to give the clergy control of some of this stuff up here. Because that'll actually make it convert faster. When it comes time to convert it. Looks like... Tun well, let's, let's put the maintenance slider right back up to where it was. Because the separatists are probably going to hit. Man, that, cor that corruption, if, if you take a lot of overextension, you better have the economy to support it. Take the, the loss on money there. Rolling in dough as it is. So we just, we're just we just collecting whatever we can here with what we got. It's not that much. It's a little bit, not too much. I can't believe Naples want, accepted an alliance. So let's... Um, Let's improve relations there. Oh, we can't because they're Catholic. We can't have a royal marriage. Not a big deal, though. Yeah, these guys got wrecked. They've got those rebels are just rampaging through their lands, doing whatever they want. Stability. Yay. Another Alaskan trade or uh, gold. Gold fleet has. Whoa! Would you look at that error? 644, four. that's a hell of an error right there. That's a hell of an error. 644. Four. It's a lot better than I think that my current ruler is a 032. What is our focus on? I think our focus is Diplo right now. I don't think the focus needs to be Diplo right now. Let's take a look. Diplo. Let's uh, focus on admin. Yeah, need admin points. Zero, point zero on admin. Of course. Manpower is recovering nicely. Imperialism against Great Britain. Colonialism. Trade dispute. Against Great Britain. I love that. They are in my way, basically. Morocco's the next thing. What I'd like to do is grab basically all this right here. Get a border with France. And then fortify the shit out of it. Star forts all along the way. I mean, I could support innumerable forts. Actually, can we upgrade this one? Yeah, upgrade that one. Core that. Apparently we hadn't cored it. That was one of the few we hadn't cored. Yep. So there's only two left to go. Conversion successful. Oh, that was... That's why these people were so pissy. That's where I was... I had a conversion going. Tunis. So apparently working on North Africa already. 
Tunis is where? Up here? Yeah, there's Tunis. All right, so why don't you go... Oh, yeah. They're the pissiest people, so why don't you go to Tunis? I'm going to have to increase the size of my military again if I want to fight France. It's going to be ugly, too. Their manpower reserves have got to be just bottomless. An ally would be amazing, but no, no, I, I'm basically a power unto myself. Nobody wants to be allied with me. But then again, I have been like the scourge of the planet for a while now. So do you got a, you got a star fort? Cairo's got a star fort. Alexandria could probably use a star fort. Um, can I not build a fort here? No free building slots. Oh, okay. All right, no free building slots in Alexandria. Overcame England, I noticed. Which I'm pretty stoked about. Oh, wow. What's happening over here? Ottomans are getting wrecked by Bohemia and Bulgaria. Austria is being occupied by Ulm, so Austria is basically out of it. That's definitely interesting. I can definitely hear all the dog the dog noises in the background. Trade efficiency? Yes. And trade range. I'm losing money for the first time ever. That should go away though. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not, we're not uh, putting everything into corruption. Once that <laughs> once that's done. Oh, you know, there are a couple more, aren't there? Lose no art worth pres uh, patronizing. Lose prestige because middle finger to you, Ben. All right, it's there's 31 years left in the game. If I wanna wanna fight France, we're gonna have to make it make it happen. Well, what's the average supply limit in in, in like low supply areas? Is in the mid 40s. Coastlines, it goes up to about 50. So I could probably just flat out increase the size of my three armies. Is there another army? Did I have a fourth army? Hang on a sec. So I've got 170, and there's 120. So there's 50,000 men. You know what? I knew. You know where they are. I know exactly where they are. I, was, I could have sworn I had more men. 40k stack. Right there. Send one of my fleets out to get them. They'll go out there and they'll come back. I knew I had another stack somewhere. I was like, why does it seem so low? I know there's more men. There we go. That'll take care of that. Basically, all my forts, I'm just upgrading to star forts. And I don't really care how much they cost right now. Call to arms. It's requesting that you come to the aid of the Lithuanian Ottoman Imperial War against the Ottomans. Accept. So that just, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do much with this. Let's send two armies over there. And uh, maybe we'll do something. Maybe we'll help them out. We'll see. I mean, the Ottomans have basically are, are getting picked on by everybody right now. Uh, so the Bulgarians, the Bohemians, the Lithuanians, now the... I keep wanting to call myself Ethiopians, the Sakhalavagians. Um, I would be, wouldn't be surprised if Persia joined in on that. Although, are they still allies? A war with Russia? That's interesting. Persia, Cyprus, and Armenia. National unrest. Less unrest. I like less unrest. So we could definitely increase the size of our armies if we wanted to, like, a 50k stack. So we got 20,000. Uh, that's going to be... Or 40,000. That's going to be 42. That's going to be 45. And... 5... 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52. 52 sounds good. Oh, spy, we lost our spy master. Uh, level three is colonial range. Not that big of a deal, but again, the power points are more important to me than anything else at the moment right now. I mean, I don't think the Ottomans have an army to speak of. We could probably just go and start sieging shit down. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, if the Ottomans have an army, it can't possibly be that big. 6k stack, no. I guess we'll... I didn't want to lose the prestige for for no reason, I guess. Lithuanian. Maybe after this, Lithuania will be a... a valuable ally. Maybe I can pull them into a European war. If we can get our borders closer together... closer together. Lithuanians are... Oh, they won that. Oh, they're going to get attacked by a 13k stack. Probably end up losing that. Oh, jeez. Province of Tripoli. 24-day siege of Damascus. Whoa. Hello, guys. What are you guys doing? So, um, maybe just start taking up some coastline. Or we can go take the next fort. Nope. Looks like the Lithuanians got it. So we'll just start gobbling up for, um, the coastline. Tunis has been... I don't know if we'll be able to get anything out of this. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I mean, with if we're playing with a, with you know a human player, you can say, "Hey, this is what I want." Playing with the the computer, basically, they're just going to go. Boop. I don't know if I could ask for concessions in any way. 161,000 infantry. I bet most of the cavalry is mine. Sakhalavan, yeah. Wow, the Lithuanians don't have very much cavalry. That's weird. They have light hussars as their... Or Lithuanian hussars as their, um... What's it called? They're like, kind of unique... One of their unique traits. So I don't think there's anything I could really do. Oh well, no big deal. These two fleets are sitting here, doing nothing. Go attack the Ottomans. Or blockade them in, at least. So you guys can just go over here and hang out. The Knights. Oh, they're the Knights of Malta. They still have Malta, I guess. Interesting. Whoa, Lithuanians just came out of nowhere, didn't they? This is... It, it looks like what happens is the uh, after I attacked the Ottomans, they never got a chance to recover, and everybody just dogpiled on them. Don't feel very bad about that, though. If I separate peace out, it would hurt Lithuanian relations, I'm pretty sure. And I don't want to hurt my relations with Lithuania, because a European ally is very important to me. Love to get up there and actually attack the Ottoman forces, but I don't think see that happening in time. Oh, it looks like we'll work together. I got a force march. The Lithuanians are doing it. All right, what are we gonna get here next? It's so cute, the little Suez Canal there. Again, I thought thought maybe something else cool would come out of that, but not much really. Not a or it's not a court. It hasn't been cored yet. It's not a core. I thought I cored all this stuff. Well, maybe because it's not attached. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, a lot of my stuff isn't attached. All right. Looks like the Lithuanians might lose here. So why don't we come in and we'll dogpile on the Ottoman army? My morale is so much higher. They have more military tactics than me. Oh, nope, it just fell. It said 3.3. Poland, interesting. 
Poland's involved, too. Well, everybody's involved in this. Who's this? Arme oh, that's Armenia. I knew they were involved. Right there. Everybody's getting their piece- wants their piece of the Ottoman Empire. A military leader has died. My military leaders do not last very long. They die fast. Most of the the coastline is what I'm interested in from a war. That's what I'm interested in. Did I just happen to click on like the only provinces that haven't been cored yet? I'm wondering if that's why there's like five that haven't been cored yet down there. I'm wondering if I just happen to click on the, all of the ones that have not been cored. All right, so this is almost done. I mean, the Ottomans are still trying at least. I'm surprised they haven't mm, pieced out. Lithuania, Alaska, oh, this is, this is, this is basically me, Lithuania, and all my allies. I really only have 36,000 cavalry in my entire army? Thought there'd be more than that. Maybe wait till my front lines get a little thicker before attacking them. Who's got more maneuver? Two, two, two. Okay, so it's even. Core cord. Very good. And tech up. Military? Military tech up. Improved flanking range. Land morale. Military tactics. I think somebody else... I think they must have already had that one. You know what the thing is? If I... I'll, it'll plummet my morale if I do this. Let's pull back. And then do it. Bite the bullet. This is bit this, this is bit, bit me on the ass before. But I'm hoping that they won't want to attack me right now. I'm assuming they're already th No, I'm No, they're not. I thought maybe that's where their military tactics came from, but it wasn't. And I got all these forts here, 77%. Come on. There we go. We can go over here, I guess. I don't think they can come... Maybe they can't come down here because I have the forts. Alright, why don't you go to... No, you can't go over there. Alright, then you'll come over here. Right, we'll do it like this. Okay, so, this is a big, nice big stack. Uh, we can increase the size of this stack over here, too. It's 20,000. Let's go 24,000. Knock this up to twelve. Knock that up to 16. I like even numbers. I like even numbers. Make core. There we go. Well, that siege didn't last very long. On to Mosul. Seriously, am I going to get anything from this? I actually don't know. I mean, I've taken a lot of Ottoman land. So the Mamluks. Well, they're helping out at least. Hey, why don't we throw? Why don't we bring over another uh, another army? Just march them on over there. Why not? Help it out. Help them out. Let's get this over with. You go over here. And, I don't know. I wish they would. I could tell them to transport there without having to do it manual, like, but we, we might, maybe we'll do that. I'll, I'll send them to go take the Ottoman capital. Whoa! I just noticed that the Ottomans, or the Bulgarians, the Bohemians and the Bulgarians are out of that. And what they took was everything up to Constantinople. Interesting. Send. Getting that religious unity up as best I can. Although, if I take any more land, it's going to go right back down. Now, this is imperialism, so taking the capital is what's necessary. So, what we're going to do is go 52,000 men, uh, attach to transport, Constantinople. Wait, no. No. Stop it. Stop it. Guess we'll do it like this. Oh, 
lasted only a few days. Nobles were uh, challenge. Sock lava. Curse them. Tax modifier. Local manpower modifier. Lose stability. That's not a big deal to me. Sage Mosul. Alright, you're gonna have Iro over to Ankara. Holy shit! Where'd that Ottoman fleet come from? Oh, uh, I hope I don't lose a stack of... 50-something thousand men. If- well, oh, I might. Well, if my ships start sinking. Oh, the Lithuanian Navy! No, no, that was not the Lithuanian Navy, was it? At least my, um, my heavies are coming. Oh, uh, if the ships sink, the men die. That's unfortunate. I didn't even think the Ottomans had a navy. That's unfortunate. Well, the Lithuanians are involved. They're leading it. Okay, they're starting to fall. Okay, I lost... They lost seven galleys, that's it. And I lost... Oh, it's not really telling me, is it? Oh, is there, was there two battles here? What's going on? Oh, yeah, there we go. I lost seven ships. No, no, that's them. Transports. I lost 18 transports? No, those are galleys. Live at the end of the battle. I'm lost here. Those are transports, right? Completely lost at what's going on here. Yep, I just lost like 12,000 men. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't expect a navy to actually be able to, uh, do anything. I lost a lot of men. Oh, well, not a big deal in the end. Oh, looks like the Lithuanians got control of that province. I'm gonna come up here, like that one. The Ottomans lose here, then we're fine. Uh, they did. So, when is this war going to end? What are we gonna What are we gonna get out of this? I've done a lot. I feel I feel like I've done a lot of work. Yeah, I lost like eleven thousand men or something like that to drowning. That was a core. We should probably chase these guys down. Try to get the try to get them. All right, Constantinople fell. That means their capital is gone. So let's see. We lost. We've got seventeen thousand. Uh, let's bring that back up to twenty-four. Let's bring this up to twelve. Let's bring this up to sixteen. Fifteen? No, sixteen. All right, we're okay. The Ottoman fleet tried to get out. Should probably move the transports somewhere safe. Ottomans are basically done now. Shame I lost so many transports there. But what are you gonna do? Did they take back? Huh, they must have taken that back. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's put Force March on. And let's chase these guys down. Try to catch them. Siege is over. Oh, hello. It's over. So the Lithuanian, the Armenians took a ton. The Lithuanians took a ton. I got 400 gold. Total would be divided between Lithuania. So I got prestige, which I didn't. Well, I guess I got power projection. Got favor. So I didn't really get a lot out of that in the end. Oh, uh, the Ottoman Empire has been enfeebled, though. Which, that's good.
My East India men need to come back over here. Uh, we'll have them rebuild. Three deckers come back over. All right, well, that was interesting. All right, and with that... Wait, are we still at war with someone? I just saw somebody attack somebody. This army can come back. All right, I'm actually just gonna let these guys move over there for the sake of, uh, for, for ease. Just so I'm not dealing with a bunch of different units and then the rest of them I'll just, I'll, I'll put them together manual-like. So what's our, for what are we at force limit-wise now? We lost some, gained some, so we can bring in more men still. We can still bring in more. All right, so all these guys here. All right, so merge those guys together. Oh no, it did by itself. Then you're going to come right, right over here. And we're going to end this episode. If you have enjoyed it, thank you for watching. Oh boy, I am out of it today. I just bungled my own outro. If you've enjoyed it, thank you for watching. That's what I just said. Anyways, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, you're over here for Salesforce.